my family and friends, I'm known for eating interesting items. Today, I'm going to have three preparations of something that I absolutely love for special occasions, and it's escargot, or snails. Snails, or escargot, first came into the English language in the late 1800s, 1892, escargot appeared in the language. You know people have been eating them for hundreds of years. Escargot, yes, are snails, but they are not the snail that leaves a slime trail outside your garden. These are harvested, and so they're very safe to eat. I can only order these off of Amazon. I cannot find them in my local town, and I'm gonna open them for you right now. Snails have a very interesting and unique flavor. Most of my children despise snails. My son will try them and then go, oh, that's nice, but probably won't eat a second one. My one daughter hates them, absolutely despises them, doesn't even like to be in the room when they're being eaten. But my other daughter loves them. In fact, my other daughter entered a cooking competition with these and she was kind of known as the snail girl for a little bit. But you can usually get them in cans that have two dozen snails in them. And they're pretty big. They're pretty meaty. And they take on garlic and butter and parsley, white wine. They take on really great flavors. For the first preparation, I'm gonna do just the classic way that people usually eat snails if you go out to a restaurant. And that's butter, garlic, and parsley. So in a pan, I need to add, I'm gonna add half a stick of butter. I'm gonna add a tablespoon and a half of minced garlic. And another tablespoon, maybe a little shy of a tablespoon of dried parsley. And I'm using dried parsley because we're in the quarantine, I was only able to find dried gar parsley, but it also does work better because real parsley tastes the best. It sometimes can get burnt, it can get a weird flavor. So I'm just gonna pop this on the top, stove top, and I'm going to melt these. For the classic preparation, I have garlic, butter, and parsley that I have melted in a pan. And now I'm going to stuff my shells. This is how much I love snails. I have actually invested in little ceramic snail cups. You can also find the actual snails that they sell that you can fill. And this is really an incredibly easy way. You just put your snail in and you top it off with your wonderful concoction of butter and parsley and you just fill them up. And then when I get these filled up, I'm gonna pop them in the oven until they get nice and toasty and just really, really wonderful and the butter browns and the snails get hot. So I'll be right back. The second preparation, I'm using mushroom caps and I'm going to fill them. So it, mushroom caps are the easiest thing and I love the, to make them at home. And all you have to do is hollow out the stem of the mushroom cap and I'm going to pop in my snail and I'm going to actually add garlic, butter, parsley, the same concoction that I had earlier, but this time I added about a quarter of a, of a cup of pesto sauce, just already prepared pesto sauce. And then I put them in little muffin tins just because it's a lot easier to work with. And so on top I placed my pesto, garlic, parsley, butter, and I'm actually going to just do a little bit of a zest of the lemon, just, just enough so you know it's there right on top. And then I'm also going to top with just a sprinkle of Parmesan shavings. Just a, just a, just a sprinkle, just a sprinkle of Parmesan shavings right on top. And then this goes in the oven and I'm going to do a slightly different concoction or different way of putting snails together. I have wonderful yeasty garlic butter knots and I'm going to just basically break them open 
I'm going to take the rest of my snails there and it's a bay leaf and I'm going to get them in that wonderful sauce and I'm going to fill my garlic knots and I'm going to put two in these knots today and these are going to go back in the oven for just a couple more minutes and when I come back I will show you how wonderful these all taste. My snails or escargot are complete. First I have to show you how to eat the snails in the cups. You use these special holders and you use the special fork and dig it out. It's so good. And then if you have a piece of bread or broccoli or whatever along with it, you can pour that wonderful garlic butter sauce over it. They're really, really good. And now I'm gonna try. I guess I just have to pop the whole thing in. Give me a moment. That was a big mouthful, but it was really good. I love mushrooms. I really love the escargot and all those wonderful flavors. And the pesto just is a nice backdrop. I really enjoy that. It's a really good preparation for those. And then, this is my real guilty pleasure. Garlic bread knots with a snail soaked in garlic and butter. It really is so good together. Bread and snails and wine. This is a complete dinner. And snails themselves are really low in calories. Six snails are 20 calories, no carbohydrates, vitamin C, iron, magnesium, calcium. And they're good for you, they really are. I encourage you to live and try something a little bit different that maybe you would never try before. I would love to know what your pleasure that nobody else understands might be and comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and like and I will see you back here again. Goodbye.